G'day patrons, welcome to the inaugural episode of The Renaissance Woman. That's me. In this first episode, I would like to talk to you about Botticelli's Birth of Venus. Everyone knows this painting, or at least loves it. What? I've been thinking about this painting a lot recently because my dog Doug has been digging up my garden. Before I go into that, let me tell you a little bit about Botticelli. Botticelli, Sandra Botticelli, was a Renaissance artist. Botticelli was his nickname, actually, and it derives from the Italian word meaning small cask of wine, tiny. Fruity Lexia makes you sexier. And here's a juicy fact, he painted Harry Styles' portrait. Now a little bit about the painting, The Birth of Venus. It was painted in the mid 1480s and it was quite likely a commission from the Medici family, the ruling family of Florence at the time. Here's one of the Medici now, sitting on a footstool, pretending that it's a horse so he can go jousting with that pepper mill he stole from a fancy restaurant. This painting, The Birth of Venus, depicts the birth of Venus. Venus was the Roman goddess of love, desire, sex. It is widely known, but not believed, that Venus was born fully formed out of the ocean. Just done, nailed it. I'm not a baby. Just bang, straight up woman. Here I am. I'm a grown up surfing on a clam. Since antiquity, the seashell has been a metaphor for female genitalia, so it makes perfect sense that the goddess of love would hang ten on a vulva metaphor. Bang. Here is what is not commonly known about Venus and her birth. Her father, her parentage, what happened? I'm here to tell you. Venus's father was Uranus. I'm not going to unpack that. Now her brother, her older brother, Saturn, speaking of rings, was angry at Uranus for something god mythy, and so he said, ah, dad, and in his anger he castrated his father and chopped up his castrated bits and chucked it out into the ocean. Just whoosh, chopped his bits off, chopped, chopped them up, and then Julien them, tiny little piece, chucks it all out to sea, just little bits, just scattered all out. Venus picks up, gathers all the little bits of man, flotsam and jetsam, Voila! Test tube baby. Collected my daddy bits. What a great story. Why isn't that one told at school? I'm available for children's parties. To put it crudely, the Renaissance refers to the rebirth of classical tradition that happened during the 15th century. That's why they could do all their religious -y paintings and then on the other side, oh, naked gods. It's recycling fashion, like the man bun, but less stupid. Botticelli certainly would have had a lot of exposure to quite a bit of antiquity antiquities. Uh, for instance, the Medici Venus, and it stands very similarly to Botticelli's own Venus. Look, they're so similar. All women are the same. Botticelli probably copied it. You can see the similarities of the pose, the contrapasto. Contrapasto, there's a lovely Italian Renaissance word you should know. It means the transference of weight. Uh, instead of standing straight on like that, they put, oh, let's lean it on one leg, just casual like. That's why all the gods are a bit casual. Just get a bit of a twist, lean over on one leg, one hip higher than the other, just casual. Want to go on a date? No? Yes. That's a tender swipe. <laughs> Contrapasto, everyone's friend. But this is not just a cheesy remake of a classical idea. No, there are Christian overtones, undertones actually. I don't know, there's tones, there's some Christian-y stuff in there. Look at this, Venus, birth, she's naked, nakedy nude, she's coming out of the ocean, that's her natural state, right? But not for long. Look on the side there, she's got a welcoming committee, they've got a lot of fabric there, ready to wrap her up, cover her up, denude her, make sure that she doesn't step foot and get, go, just get about nude. Don't go nude, Venus, you're now in a Christian-y place. And we don't like nudes here, because Eve ate an apple. What I like most about this painting is how Botticelli has solved this problem uh, of wind. How do you show the viewer that in the world of this painting, there is a bit of wind about? Botticelli has nailed it. What does he do? He just puts up a couple of floaty people in the air, blowing some petals about. You know, a bit of this <laughs> instant wind. Nailed it. What a genius. He should have been a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Botticelli. Yo. So what are we going to do with all this information? What relevance does it have to our everyday lives? 
let me tell you. Back to Doug, my dog, digging in my garden. I give you a seashell. A seashell filled with sand for my dog Doug to dig in. Problem solved. Except that Doug still digs up my garden. And all I've got now is a metaphor for female genitalia at the back of my garden, in the colour blue. Subscribe here. Contrapasto. G'day.